Ricochet offers extensive reporting that can be viewable in the reporting section of the software, on the admin dashboard, and if you're using our web store add-on, then you will have a web sales report available in the web store section. But in this tutorial, we will just review all reports available in the reporting section of the software. Start out by hovering over reports, and we can see the list of reports available. You'll have sales summary, sales detail, the store inventory cogs report, which will be specifically used when adding in retail products, the sales by report to see sales by category, brand, consigner, or employee, the closed register report and receipts, followed by your payout history and aging report. The reports you'll be using on a day-to-day -day basis are the sales summary and sales detail report. These reports are very literal. The sales summary will give a sales summary of all sales within a given time period. The sales detail will have the same sales summary module, but will also show each individual sale and allow you to view, void, or edit the sales information. Of course, sales editing will only be available for admins. These reports will always default to the current date, but you can choose to see sales from the current week or month. You also can click pick date and choose a start date and an ending date to pull up sales info. Now just note with the calendar picker, you can click the arrows back and forth to be able to choose your start and end date. But sometimes when you're trying to put together a couple of months worth of information, it's easier to actually click on the month title itself, choose your starting month, choose the starting date, then repeat that process for the end date. Of course, too, you can do the same thing with the year title as well. The first module will break down all tenders collected, showing all tenders collected in both sales and layaways. Next, you'll see your sales breakdown. This section dissects the grand totals for the date range and organizes them into individual parts. And these parts will sum up the grand total that should match the grand total of your total tenders collected. The equation for this is as follows. Revenue plus layaways plus shipping plus tax minus returns minus return tax equals your total. Next is the store costs and net total section. This section breaks down the costs and nets based off the items involved in the transactions from the selected date range. Next you will see your net sales broken down to show profits from consigned items and if you're using the item fees, you will show a portion of those profits that came from item fees. You will also see profits from any store owned or retail items and the net from layaways. The final section is the additional info module. This will show the total of non-taxed items and discounts issued. You can also export this information as a CSV file by clicking export or print a PDF by clicking print. Now, like we mentioned earlier, the sales detail report is going to show the same sales module that you'll see in the sales summary report, but it's also going to give you a lot more details about each individual sale in that time parameter that you've chosen. You will see the line item of each sale showing basic info like sales number, cashier, total. But by clicking the expand icon, you can view all details about that sale, including any notes added to the sale at the point of purchase. Next is the edit button. And by clicking this, you will be able to edit sales information. You can change the date of the sale, add a customer or update the cashier, as well as update any tender types in case a wrong tender type gets clicked during the sale. This is also where admins can void sales if need be. Voiding sales remove the sale from the system, remove any funds available in the consigner's payout report, and put the items back into stock. Next there will be the store inventory COGS report, or cost of goods. This will only show items that were entered in as retail inventory, and this is done by adding products directly from the product section rather than from a consigner's account. You will have the same date pickers, export, and print buttons available. 
you will see line items for sold retail inventory, showing info like quantity sold and returned, cost, gross, and net total. You can also search for a specific SKU or item name, and by clicking the Expand button, you will be able to see all sales attached to the item. Next is the Sales by Report. This report allows you to see sales by category, brand, consigner, and employee. Some of these reports may differ slightly, but will provide you your top five categories, brands, or consigners. Categories will also allow you to see the top five child categories under each parent category. Each section will also have a performance graph where you can see the performance of a particular category or brand, as well as compare them against other brands, categories, or consigners. Below the compare tool, you'll have a line item report showing the number of items sold, percentage of sales, and sales number total. The register close report will allow you to go and see all closed registers. This is used with our registers feature and can be set up in the admin preferences section. If you are having employees count the till at the beginning and end of the day, then this report will show all closed registers and by clicking the closing ID, you can open each closed register report. The receipt report will also be incredibly straightforward. You can see line items for each receipt, and by clicking the sales number, you'll be able to reprint a receipt. Note that reprinting receipts can only be done from a computer. It cannot be done from our iPad app. The payout history will show all past payouts issued in Ricochet. The payout history report will show all past payouts issued in Ricochet. Now, like other reports in the system, this report will show any payouts issued today by default, but you can choose a date period to refine the search, then filter by a specific consigner or by who issued the payout. By clicking the Expand button on the line item, you will show all attached info for that payout. And at the bottom, you will see a little trash can icon. This will allow you to revert a payout. So if a mistake gets made, like an item sold underneath the wrong commission split, or maybe you're printing checks from the system and you run out of ink halfway through, you can reverse these payouts, fix anything that you need to, then rerun them. Also know that if you click the expand button above the line in the upper right hand corner, you're going to expand all payouts. And this works well if you do need to reverse several payouts at once, similar to the check situation that we just mentioned. Finally, there'll be the aging report. This report is used by stores that have contract periods for their items. So if you have a 60 day contract with consigners or something similar, this will be the report that you will view to see which items are getting close to moving to the next discount stage or expiration. You will start out by choosing your contract plan. Ricochet does allow you to add in different auto discounting plans, but if you just have one, then it will be listed by default. Next, there will be a drop down for each stage that you have added to that plan. You will be able to click the name of the item to access the item screen. See the consigner's name and phone, additional fields like age price, in stock date, and next threshold. The next threshold column will show a countdown of one week until the item moves to the next threshold. The only exception here would be looking up expired items. This will show items that are seven days within being expired or items that have been expired up to 30 days. Feel free to review these reports and understand the longer that you use the system, the more information will be added to them, especially in the sales by report. But if you do have any questions, feel free to let us know.